much to do. Just a little, just a little bit before I get going. I just want to tell you all, first of all, that I got into the office at 6 30 this morning. If I come in early, at least I have a little bit of uninterrupted time during the day. I get 153 to 187 emails a day. I would spend two to three hours doing email. And salespeople trying to contact me, excuse me. But to talk about the new systems we need to buy. Yes, wait, well. For the acquisition strategy. Yes, and uh, what, what, what's on your mind right now this morning? Well, we're going to have to get these systems in place. Jane, I'm really sorry. We have a major problem with our complaints. Yeah, I know. Hang on a sec. Why don't you just stay there? Can you come back in about how long does this take? Oh, probably the uh, acquisition phones. A problem with the acquisitions fund. Wait a minute, I can only handle one of you at a time. So will you two leave? Drain, 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 drain. No, um, I will drain. be back to you. Oh, I'll give you a buzz as soon as I can talk with you, okay? We have a major overuse of our software right now. A major overuse? Yes, we're going to do a major overuse of our software. We don't act now. <laughs> we're going to lose the opportunity. We have a one one at a time, guys. One of this one. is very important. I know that being out of compliance is not okay. And I know exactly. that we need to deal with leave. our technology issue. Is your issue a Drain. major firestorm right now? Do I need one second the phone is ringing? Drain. Yes, this is Jane. What's up? Jane, this is Catherine from the Neto Banking Service. We need half an hour of your time so we can look at all the expenses that are covered. All right, so you in about 20 minutes. I have a perfect time. Thank, Thank you, Catherine. You. Yes. Okay, back to this issue. Yes, the market's um, passing us by. The market is passing us by. We're talking about you go figure out what they have with you. That's something that you have in court. And this compliance issue that we need to deal with just a second. Yes, this is Jim. This is Eric down the pen. I think I got cut off last time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we have a major problem down here. Our machinery is malfunctioning. You know, our budget is lower this year than it's ever been. So make sure you transfer funds from one area to the other. We'll route Peter to pay call. It's just to be compliant with our software. Yes. <laughs> what do we need to do Jane, to be Jane, compliant? The police are yeah, <laughs> Said to me, 
When I asked if you had any questions, you said to me, no questions, Jill, but my name is not Mr. Prospect. <laughs> Top peak performers go beyond the do, do, do. They go beyond the application into another three levels of thinking that take us into a whole new way of doing business. And this is what differentiates the top performers in marketing and telesales in every single position from those who are doing a good job. And it's all about thinking. The reality is it's about thinking. We talked earlier and I heard uh, Jim was talking about the importance of doing analysis in the landscaping and accounts and really understanding what's going on in our clients' world. And so analysis this is the foundation of the next level of thinking. And the more analysis we do, the better. But there isn't enough point. Sometimes we get paralyzed and do a little bit too much. From the analysis uh, portion of thinking, it goes up to the strategic thinking, where you're trying to figure out, now that I know this information about the account, and I, again, I'm relating it to you in a sales mindset because that's what I know. Now that I've learned this information about this account, what is the best way for me to approach them? How can I maximize my contact? How can I create a strategy that they can't say no to? And you can take those questions and you can apply it in your own world if you're not in sales. But the key is, what is my strategy? How can I come up with a different strategy? What's unique here, by the way, is that with strategies, our brain likes to systematize things. They like to, it likes to get into road mode. And so unless you are literally conscious of this way that your mind behaves, you will still do, you will make the same phone calls that you made before. You will say the same things. You will do the same proposal. You will give the same presentation. You'll run the same marketing campaign. You'll do everything the same because that's what you know. And the final level of thinking, and this is the one um, that I see most people already in their job, and I'll talk more about it, is the judging. Um, and and um, the judging is, is an evaluative type of thing. So these are the three areas of thinking that truly do differentiate your top sellers from your average sellers, your top marketers from your average marketers, your top tech people from your average tech people. They are thinking differently. They're thinking at higher levels, and everybody has this capacity. It's not that you have to be smart to do this. What you need is discipline.